exponential form is just a shortcut for repeated multiplication in the same way that multiplication is a shortcut for repeated addition. If we always had to go around writing something like 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 <laughs> instead of just writing 4 times 4, it would take a lot longer to do a number of the problems that you do every day. So in the same way, we use exponents to repeat multiplication and we do that uh, by taking the number that we're multiplying by itself and putting it on the bottom that's called the base and then the number of times that we multiply that number up above it and to the right that's called the exponent so if we have for instance our first example here 2 times 2 this is taking the number 2 and multiplying it by itself 2 times so our base is 2 it's the number that's being multiplied and our exponent is 2 because it's the number of times it's being multiplied. Our second example here, our base is negative 3. It's the number that's being multiplied. And our exponent is 3 because that's the number of times it's being multiplied. Now this isn't negative 3 times 3. This is negative 3 3 times. The number of times it's being multiplied by itself. For example C, we have y is our base and 5 is our exponent because it's y multiplied by itself 5 times. And then for d we have 4 3 a's so we have 3 a to the fourth power the number of times 3 a is being multiplied by itself. So now we're going to take the four answers we just got from the previous four questions and we're going to simplify them even further when all you have is a variable like c here we just conveniently can write y times itself five times as y to the fifth and then it's completely simplified that's as as concise and as efficiently as we can write that information but when we have whole number values like two two to the second power is two times itself twice well we can actually simplify that to four because two times itself is four for our second one negative 3 to the third power this is negative 3 times itself 3 times so first thing we do is 3 times itself 3 times so 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 3 times 3 we get 3 times 3 that's 9 that takes care of those two and then we have 9 times 3 and that's 27 so 27 is our number and then we just look at the number of times it was multiplied noting that it's a negative. Since it's a negative and it was being multiplied an odd number of times, the answer is negative. An odd number of negatives, number of negatives, is going to be a negative answer. Equals a negative, I'll write that out as, as a word, negative answer. And obviously it follows then that an even number of negative signs would be a positive answer. We already did C. C is simplified as far as it can be. Simplified. And then D. D we have 3A to the fourth. So we have 3A times itself four times. Well, the A to the fourth part is just going to stay A to the fourth. So I'll we'll have A to the fourth anyway. But the 3 part can be multiplied out. So we have 3 times itself 4 times. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And we can do 3 times 3 and get 9. And that takes care of those two. Times 3 times 3 again, which was 9 again. 9 times 9 is 81. That takes care of those two. So 81 is 3 to the fourth power. So our final answer then is 81 a to the fourth.